Hi and welcome to Curtis Day Tutorials. Tonight's tutorial is on CSS backgrounds and making them expand through CSS um, dynamically, so with the browser. When you expand the browser, the background expands with it, the picture in the background. So that's what we're going to make uh, in today's tutorial. So here we go. Look, at, Here's my example. I've got Safari open and you can see that I've got an image here that expands as I open and as I pull the browser bigger or smaller, it expands, it scales with it. So we're gonna um, we're gonna get into this right now. So let me close Safari and go back to CSS. Here's my here's the existing file that I have right now. We're gonna make a new file, so we're gonna go to File New. We're gonna pick uh, a new document based off of a blank page, HTML, one column, fixed center. Click Create. And I'm going to get rid of uh, this, maybe some of this stuff in here. Just delete uh, the, the text that's in the uh, content box. And in my code view, I'm going to, I probably could go get rid of a lot of the CSS that I don't need. But we're going to start with our CSS here for this, for this box. We're going to make the selector. Um, we're going to make a class here. So I'm going to start with the CSS code up in, up in the styles and hit return a few times. And, and we're going to make a div that's a class to uh, make this happen. So I'm going to call this back. You can name it whatever you want. So period uh, with the name that you want to choose. And I just happen to call it back. I don't want to call it background because that, that would confuse the CSS code. So just back. And I'm going to do a curly bracket and another curly bracket to close that off. And then in here, we'll start the CSS to make this happen. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a div. This div's actually going to not really be in the background, like in the body background. It feels like it was, but it's actually not. It's going to be in a div that's positioned on top of the background, on top of the body element. So this div is going to wrap around the container. So the first thing we have to do is make give it a position um, in CSS and I'm going to give it a fixed position and you'll see what that does here in a second so position fixed and then I'm going to give it a height and a width of a hundred percent so that it will expand to the um, browser when I expand the browser bottom right hand corner it expands with it so I'm going to make that a hundred percent so instead of giving it a height of like a thousand and a width of like a thousand I'm going to give it a hundred percent and it will go the whole height and width. So we'll do it for both. And so that. And then one semicolon at the end of that. And then what we want to do is we want to go find our background image. So this background image should be saved. I'm going to save this document actually so that it's in with my background image. So I'm going to save this and call it CSS Expand and save that in my folder that has my image in it. So I'm going to go find my image. So I'm going to say background and then I'm going to go look for a URL of that. So when I do the colon there, it, notice how this pops up here in Dreamweaver, pretty nice. So I'm going to go URL and I'm going to go find an image that's pretty large. I mean this is a JPEG here. This image is 220, 228 uh, kilobits. It, uh, JPEG and it's a th it's a 1024 wide. You can even go bigger than that. I didn't really need to, as you saw from the earlier demo. But anyways, I'm going to choose that. So there's my background image. Now with this background image, I'm going to do a little bit of CSS shorthand here. I want this to have a no repeat on it. So no, and then repeat, and then space, and then I'm going to center this horizontally and then space and then center it vertically and then I want the center of it fixed so that's what this last one is and then semicolon so in other words so this the image is not going to repeat in the background it's going to be centered horizontally centered vertically and then affixed right in the center so it doesn't leave that off that center so I'm going to hit return so that's a but that's our background itself and now here's where the CSS3 comes in uh, this is how we can expand the image. We're gonna, it's called cover. So we're gonna say background size. This is this is something um, uh, for CSS3. You'll notice when I type this in here, the background size uh, this this does not show up here as a property. 
that I've typed in background, but you'll notice in that list, background size does not show up. Background position does, but background size doesn't because it's CSS3. And I'm in Dreamweaver CS5 and it doesn't it doesn't have it yet. So I'm gonna do background size, colon, and I'm gonna say cover. Now this works in most modern browsers. It's gonna work in IE9, uh, which you know, so if you have IE678, this won't work. So IE9, it's gonna work in Safari 3, Firefox 3, Chrome, any of them. So if you're on or Firefox, whatever the newest Firefox is. So as of 2011, uh, if you do with this after 2011, you should be safe. If you're doing it during 2011, you should be safe on most if your browser's up to date. Okay, so that's that one. Just to make sure we could do some other ones in here. So that's the CSS3 version, but there was an old, there's kind of legacy one. So for if I go to the WebKit, uh, this will cover for Safari if they have maybe a little bit older version. This this actually covers uh, Safari regardless. Just helps out making sure that it happens. So I'll do WebKit dash background. Because sometimes you never know. This kind of helps out on that. Background dash size. And then the same thing, cover. And then we'll do the same thing on here, but this time instead of WebKit, we'll do the Mose for Mozilla. So I'm going to do Mose and then Dash. And then I'm just going to copy this and paste it down for, for right here. And then one last one that I'm going to do this is for Opera. So this is just make, covering, make sure, making sure that I'm covering all my browsers. And then I'm going to paste this same thing. So it's really kind of you know, helps out on the CSS here. So we've got that. So now we have um, we have this situated here. I'm going to actually go up to my container. I'm going to make this container a little bit narrow, narrow here in the width, maybe 400 pixels wide, just because I, I want to be able to see more of the picture when we uh, test this. Now nothing's going to happen yet because I only did the CSS. So I need to go now go down inside the um, I need to go down inside the body here, and I need to make my div class. So this is, like I said, going to wrap around the container. So I want to do a uh, div class, and then equals, and then I'm going to go find my, I'm going to go find my back. There it is, and I could type it in there as well. And then I'll close the, that's the uh, alligator bracket to close the start of the tag. But then I want the end of the tag to be after the container. So I'll go to the end of the container and I'll close that div. So now we've got that. Um, and then inside the container I could do, or inside content even, I could do some text in here. Uh, CSS expand, expanding background is what this is called. So put some text in there. If I go to design view, it, nothing's going to look right. It isn't going to show me the way it looks in design view because again, Dreamweaver doesn't know what the heck I'm doing. I have to actually do this on the browser for it to work. So I'm going to save this and I'm going to go test this in Safari. And there I go in Safari. And as soon as I pull the browser, bottom right hand corner, check out how it expand, the image expands. And what's cool is it scales uh, proportionately with my browser. Pretty cool. Now, I just a little tip here. I would not probably use an image in there in that background that's too large in file size. So I'd stay under, if you can, I'd stay under uh, 250 kilobytes um, just because you're going to start slowing down uh, if it's too big. If you've got like a megabyte image back there, it's just not good for, for a speed of loading in the browser and uh, taxes, you know. Uh, your 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 system here when you've got a very large file, but you can you can compress that file in uh, Photoshop, do a file save for web and get that smaller uh, as small as you can get it file size without compromising the quality it would be great. All right, so that's the CSS expanding background. Uh, this has been a Curtis Day tutorial. Thanks so much, and we'll talk soon.